Hi and welcome to the Code Lab. Today we're going to be talking about Azure Functions in Container Apps. So I'm going to show you how to create a function on your IDE. We're going to package it in a container. We're going to push that to our local Kubernetes cluster and then we're going to push it up to a container registry and down to Azure Container Apps. So it's going to be a multi-part video. Stick around, it's going to be a good one. I'm going to explain each phase and I hope you uh, find it uh, informative. Uh, but first, let's get the basics out of the way. Uh, I want to give you three reasons why I'm taking advantage and I want to do this type of architecture. Uh, the first one is I want to decouple uh, code. So I want to leverage these functions so that uh, I can manage the logic. For example, if I need to get to an API, I don't need to write it on my Django application. I can just write it on the function. I can test the function by itself. Then I deploy the function and I just have to make a small tweak in Django just so that I can get um, the uh, return data from, from the function. So that's the first thing I want to decouple. Uh, the My application, I don't want to build a monolith. Uh, I want to build in the independent microservices and that is what I'm going to do with with the uh, containers on Azure Container Apps, um, basically using uh, the Azure Functions as a as a way to code my Python logic and get information. Um, <clears throat> so that's first. The second reason why I want to leverage Azure Functions is scalability. So I want my users to hit the front end uh, and. You know the front end is going to have its own uh, its own logic. It's going to have its own compute and and demands. Uh, but I don't want these other processes to take on demand because these are going to be calls that are not going to happen frequently. So if I have a user that needs to you know for example get book information from the Google Books API, then I'm going to offload this to this function. The function is going to out, go out to the internet, get the data and return it back to the user. Uh, so when we're talking about scalability, the function itself, uh, so if there are, there are a lot of users uh, querying uh, to get book information, uh, my application is not necessarily going to get overloaded. Uh, the function is the one that is going to handle the compute. And one cool thing with Azure Container Apps is that you could put any services in front of these container apps and uh, let's say uh, service bus for example uh, you know let's say you have a service bus here uh, any number of messages that go here uh, in the in the queue you can use the number of messages to spin up a certain amount of uh, of functions for your users so this is going to scale up and you can have things like scale down to zero where if there is no demand, then there is no function. There's nothing running here. So uh, this can scale down to zero. So it's another advantage that I want to take care of. And lastly, I want to take care of the resilience of it all. So if, uh, for example, I push some code into my function and, uh, and this breaks, uh, so if I, you know, make a mistake here and it breaks, my application will continue and the user will continue to use that. Sure, they'll get an error if they if they hit a, a, a book. Uh, if they query to get a book, they're going to get an error. But my application, they can still work on it. They can still do other things while I fix that. I don't have to redeploy the whole thing and have some type of interruption. So those are three things why I want to leverage this type of uh, architecture. Uh, again, I'm going to walk through creating a function from your IDE, testing it locally, testing it on Docker, testing it on a local Kubernetes cluster. Then we're, we're going to push it up to the cloud and test it on Azure Container App. So stick around. It's going to be, I believe, four parts, uh, four to five parts here. I'm not sure yet, but stick around. Uh, it's going to be a good one, and I hope you like it. Thank you.